To navigate to page three, press and hold program A, then press program A two more times. Page three is indicated by the MIDI A LED being on. The third page sets the MIDI channel for MIDI A and MIDI B. The default behavior is for both MIDI A and MIDI B to receive on all channels. The MIDI Learn is live updating, so playing notes into it causes it to start learning immediately. Unlike other pages, you must hold program B to finish learning. This way you can audition channels without overwriting. While on this page, the MIDI A activity window denotes MIDI A and the MIDI B activity window denotes MIDI B. Press program B to select A, B, or both. It is possible to learn both at once. Hold program A to set MIDI A and MIDI B to all channels, in other words, to set this page to default. Setting MIDI A and MIDI B to different channels is especially useful when using the Ocoast as a MIDI to CV converter with a DAW, allowing, for example, the Ocoast to play a bass line while a modular synth plays a lead. Let's set this up using a system Cartesian. You could use any CV gate controlled synth. Patch MIDI B CV to the one volt per octave input on the VCO, in this case the tonic input on the telharmonic, and MIDI B gate to the gate input of a function generator. In the Cartesian, this is the signal input of maths. I'm going to patch to the trigger input instead because I plan to generate short pulse envelopes. We'll take the output of maths to our VCA, in this case the LXD. Now on the MIDI Learn page, I'll select MIDI A. Here I have Ableton open. The two synths are in channel 1 and channel 2 of my audio interface, and I am monitoring both. I have MIDI B, CV, and Gate both set to Note. See the videos on those pages or the Zero Coast manual for instructions on how to do so. I have set up two MIDI tracks to send to MIDI A and MIDI B. I'll start by sending a few notes to MIDI A on MIDI channel 1 of my MIDI interface. As we can see, the Zero Coast learns channel 1. I'll hit stop and switch to MIDI B. Now I'll send a few notes on the second MIDI track to MIDI channel 2. The system Cartesian learns channel 2. I'll write the MIDI learn by holding program B. It can also be useful when using a wide range VCO to send the same note to both MIDI channels during setup so we can ensure the two devices are tracking MIDI identically. Keep the Zero Coast pitch control full counterclockwise and adjust the VCO to match its pitch. If your VCO is having trouble tracking accurately, you can calibrate the Ocos MIDI B CV output to it using the procedure in the page 7 video. Now we can send any MIDI sequence we want to both devices at once, in time with whatever else is in the DAW. Here's a drum track. A bass line. And some upper register material for the telharmonic.